So Alzheimer's disease is a progressive disease. So we know that it starts and initiates a change in the neurochemistry and the chemicals within our brain that ultimately leads to the death of nerve cells. Two toxic peptides have a role to play. There's the amyloid beta peptide and also the tau peptide. And these are seen as toxic entities which actually accumulate within the brain and then lead to that neuronal cell death. So cell culture for us is, is a fundamental part of the research that we do. And here we use animal cells such as mice and rats and culture nerve cells in a dish. So in the healthy brain, the microglial cells that we're interested in are involved in clearing away debris and also starting to attack pathogens that enter the brain. But as the disease takes hold, and we see changes in those neurons and they start to become dysfunctional, the microglial get the signal to then come and actually start contributing to the disease process itself. So as part of our research, we're using genetically modified mice to mimic the human disease that we're interested in. So once we've sacrificed the animal, we quickly remove the brain. So we can then implant the electrode into the slice and start to record from individual nerve cells to look how that electricity that they generate is changed as part of the disease process. We're interested in microglia or brain macrophages. We're slowly starting to unpick some of the protein players that change the function of these cells. The next step of the, in our journey is trying to find molecules that can modify the activity of those particular proteins. That will then start the journey of drug discovery to hopefully enter clinical trials and offer hope to those living with dementia.